joined by Dave Leventhal, who is the senior political reporter at the Center for Public Integrity based in Washington. Good to have you with us. So uh, we've seen uh, acting FBI chief Andrew McCabe testifying before Congress. Uh, now, this issue of him uh, contradicting what the White House uh, is suggesting that, uh, you know, that, that staff hadn't lost confidence in James Comey. Just how explosive is this going to be? Well, the, the entire uh, affair is explosive, but the testimony today that you're hearing up on Capitol Hill right now as we speak uh, is explosive in and of itself in a very profound way. And the fact that the president is being contradicted by the man who's sitting in the seat that James Comey has just vacated uh, is very powerful. It may be an incentive for Donald Trump to very quickly appoint somebody to fill that position on a permanent basis so that uh, this will at least go away in the, in the sense that Andrew McCabe won't be there uh, sitting in the hot seat, uh, but that's not going to make the issue go away at all. The FBI has an investigation live. The House, the Senate, too, have their own parallel investigations into what Russia actually did during the election. So the issue is going to be with us here in Washington, D.C., for not days, not weeks, but months to come. Uh, indeed. And uh, Mr. McCabe has also said that, you know, this, this investigation is uh, going to carry on. Uh, increasing calls for a special prosecutor to have a, a, an independent investigation into whether or not there was Russian collusion um, in, during the, the, the presidential election with, with Trump uh, campaign officials. How do you see that going? Is that going to happen? There's a possibility that could. Democrats are the ones who are calling for this in, in a massive way. Uh, they're they're uh, seeing this as sort of an elixir for the uh, question as to whether the FBI truly is independent. There have been questions as to what Donald Trump has heard from the FBI directly about this potent, this investigation and uh, the, the likelihood that uh, Russia did, in fact, have some involvement in the 2016 election. Uh, but the Democrats are, are using this to score great political points as much as they possibly can. I've uh, received no fewer than about uh, two dozen different fundraisers that Democrats uh, have put out in emails and other communications uh, uh, trying to raise money off the fact uh, that this is very much spiraling out of control over the past few days. So expect that the politics of all this will uh, definitely be hanging over the issue of the investigation uh, also, too, for, for a long time to come here. Yeah, and it, it doesn't look as though James Comey is going to get uh, any um, relaxing time off anytime soon. He's been invited to appear before a, a, a closed session <laughs> in front of this uh, committee uh, ne next week. I mean, what do you think is going to come out of that and how crucial will, will his testimony be? Well, nothing's going to come out of it in the sense that uh, it's not going to be a pub public session in the way that we're having today with uh, with the now acting director speaking sure. before uh, Congress in an open session. Uh, but you can uh, absolutely expect uh, that uh, senators are going to be incredibly interested to hear what he has to say for himself, uh, given the events uh, of the past 48 hours. Uh, so uh, wh whether uh, you're going to have leaks, which is something that Donald Trump also, too, has uh, been very, very angered by, has tried the to get the FBI to put the kibosh on from his administration. I would expect uh, that information will definitely filter out of that meeting, albeit a closed door meeting. Yeah, this is just going to run and run, isn't it, Dave? Thank you very much indeed for your time there, Dave Leventhal.